This is the time when the talking has to stop and the action finally begins. A warm welcome to Wembley from me, Derek Ray. I'm joined in the commentary box by Stuart Robson and we're just seconds away from kickoff time in what promises to be a wonderful Carabao Cup final. It's Arsenal taking on Liverpool. What a chance for one of these teams to get their hands on silverware. And over the years, we've seen some great League Cup finals. Let's hope today matches up to some of those occasions. Really looking forward to this one, Derek. And this is the Arsenal starting eleven. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Thomas Partey starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the starting role in attack is handed to Alex Lacazette. Let's take a look at the Liverpool starting eleven. Alisson begins in goal. Trent Alexander-Arnold starts with Andrew Robertson in the wide defensive areas. Mohamed Salah plays with Sadio Mane out wide and rather than use a strike partnership they've gone with just the one player in attack a wonderful intervention well in any game Sadio Mane is likely to be an important contributor Stuart what kind of display do you expect to see from him well Derek he's the perfect finisher he's got a great shot on him his movement is excellent and in 1v1 situations you always expect him to score What can they do from here? Thiago. Opportunity here. And reading it absolutely superbly. Well, he's lost it. Fabinho. Mane. It's with Fabinho. Sitting deep like this might be a dangerous game. Real need to get rid of it. And a time for calm on the ball. He's got space. And space to cross it. Well, rule two have taken up an illegal position only just. Alexander Arnold. Henderson. Tiago. Liverpool in a position of menace. Tiago. Well, they keep the ball moving. Mane. Thiago. Offensive Brazilians to shut them down. Oh, good vision. Lacazette. Can he put it in? Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? Playing it in. And thwarting his opponent in the nick of time. Martin Odegaard. Determined defending. Well, there you have it. Liverpool have controlled most of the possession, but it's been a fresh straight in performance from them so far they just haven't had enough guile in the final third it's all been a bit too predictable which has to change if they want to win this one and a chance to whip it in here Mane and Thiago Jota must be it's still alive and power over 
subtlety, he's hit the woodwork. Well, he made decent contact with it, but he has to score from that range. Well, the electronic board showing one additional minute. And there it is, the half-time whistle. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Tierney. White. It's with Gabriel. Lacazette. His physical strength to make sure takes the shot. Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Can someone get on the end of this? And no nonsense defensive clearance. Oh, great vision. Tierney and it crossed the touch line so a throw in here so deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture Martin Odegaard Tierney and a good-looking ball. And they deal with the threat this time. Diogo Jota. Henderson. And this is Diogo Jota now. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Disappointing for Liverpool to give it away like that. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Shot attempted. And a really good diving stop. Well, they are committed to making the substitution here. Number nine, Alex Lacazette. Coming onto the pitch, number 14, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number 14, Jordan Henderson. To be replaced by... Corner kick played in. Well, no end product. Alexander-Arnold. Can he take advantage? Oh, a goal for Liverpool! The first goal of this final. And how important could that be? Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but when he shoots, I expected him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. So the game restarted by Arsenal. A wake-up call for the Arsenal players, perhaps. Can they construct a response? Gabriel, Albert Sambi Lokonga, 
Thomas now. Can they trouble the opposition this time? Such an important goalkeeping intervention under pressure. Free kick awarded to Liverpool. Well, he might have been tempted to caution him, but didn't, Stuart. Yeah, and I like that from the referee. It's not a yellow card for me. Substitution for Liverpool. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Diogo Jota. To be replaced by number 9, Roberto Firmino. Fabinho. Accurate pass upon accurate pass. Milner. Fluency of movement. Roberto Firmino. He's going to have a go here. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Now sending it in. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Effective challenge. Well, no stopping him. Mane. This could finish it. But no, the chance goes a begging. Goodness gracious me. Well, you just wonder, will that come back to haunt them? He has to do better there. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Well, this match ebbing away, but not quite in the books just yet. Liverpool desperately want the win. Stewart, interested in your critique of their performance. Yeah, just about edging it overall. It's been a really tight game, hasn't it? Chances at a premium, and you have to praise their defending in that regard. Just got to see out the final few minutes now. No silly mistakes at the back. Firmino. Well blocked, but he must clear it away. Oh, that's a penalty. And at a crucial phase in the game. And this might mean job done. And the penalty is converted. I don't think anyone really questioned him. Well, here it is again. Great composure to send the keeper the wrong way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent penalty. Second goal for them here. Well, this is far from over. We're going to have five minutes of stoppage time. Gabriel. Jacker with it. It's with Gabriel. White. Kieran Tierney. Now with Obama Young. Partey. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. 
brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real solidarity. Well, this is special for everybody at the club. What a great moment for any young player. And this is what you dream about when you start playing football. When you're playing in the playground, you want to win a cup. Brilliant moment. Yes, a special moment in the career of any footballer. And now for the trophy lift itself. The cup winners. Well, you can just see what it means to those players and the manager. That's fantastic stuff. There's always the element of chance in a cup competition. But my goodness, they've taken the rough with the smooth. And now they savour the moment. Four marks to the entire team, and now they get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. They're really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time.